back to my channel Gababetic. So I thought for this video I would make a really good summer treat that's also vegan and gluten free. To be honest, the weather has not been great here. It's like British summer. It's cloudy outside. It does look like it's gonna rain, but I still thought I'd go ahead with my summer treat. It is hot outside, so that will make me feel more summery when I have it. So I thought I would make the ultimate gluten free ice cream sundae with all different toppings, things you wouldn't think that would be gluten free. And I'm also gonna make it completely vegan as well because you know an ice cream sundae is not something you think could be made vegan but it actually I found some stuff that's really cool and is all gluten free and vegan so I'm gonna show that to you guys today and also it's gonna help me kind of enjoy my summer I'm off today from work so I'm doing this as like a summer treat even though it's like raining outside but I am first going to check my blood sugar to be honest I'm feeling a bit shaky so I think it might be going low let's have a check but like obviously ice cream will help me if I am going low so yeah 2.9 is not great that's not where we want to be so because it might take a few minutes to actually make the ice cream i'm gonna have a sip of lucozade and then i'll be back okay i've taken a sip now um so i've only taken a little bit because i will have sugar in the ice cream i might take some insulin for that i'm not too sure yet i have my sensor on here so it was really easy to check but i'm really excited because i really want a dessert even though it's like two o'clock in the day and it's my day off i really want something summery to try and enjoy my day off so let me show you first right what you're gonna need is like a perfect glass to put the sundae in i have got this really cool kind of funky summery one here um i just decided i would go all out and even get a new glass because i want it to look really pretty and yeah this is this here and it looks pretty cool so now we've got the right equipment okay so now that we have the right equipment I think I should start off with obviously the ice creams are the main part of the sundae so I will show you what I've got I've got a selection so my first one here is actually this vegan ice cream which is banana chunk with walnut and I'll show you a close up when I open it but I got it in little and I think it was two pounds and it has vegan all over as you can see but it also is gluten free when I check the ingredients so that's one good one to start with so I have a few different options that I'm gonna show you obviously you know, I'm going to mix a few of them here to make it like the ultimate thing. But if you saw one of them, you could just go for one of them. The next one I have is from Morrison's. And this was so cheap. This was 80p, which is ridiculously cheap. So this is a plant-based chocolate non-dairy ice cream that is gluten-free and vegan as well. And that like just how that's 80 cent. I don't know. But Morrison's are really doing a good like free from range at the moment. Then... I have the last one, so that was a chocolate flavor, banana flavor, and then I thought we'd go for a classic vanilla to put it with. So this is another Morrison's one, again it was 80p, and yeah, so these are all vegan ice creams, which is really cool, and I think they're going to taste pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and put a few scoops into here. Okay, so I've just changed up the angle. Obviously, this is the key, is to have a good base for your sundae, so I thought I would do like a selection of ice creams. Here's the banana chunk one. I will admit I've tried this one. Here's what it looks like. It tasted so good. And you can see like there is some pieces of walnut in there. Actually, you can see my hand shaking, so I'm gonna eat this piece now. Mmm. Really good. So that's the banana one there. Um next one have the vanilla. I haven't actually tried this one, but my boyfriend has had some, he said it's pretty good. So again, all vegan. Looks exactly like normal villa, villa, vanilla ice cream. And then the chocolate one. So haven't tried this one yet at all. So just opening it for the first time here. And mm, that banana one tastes so good. <laughs> They're making this really hard to open. I don't know if it's me because I'm going low. <laughs> it's really tight. But ooh, oh my God, that looks unreal. That looks so good. You almost don't want to don't want to break it like that okay so got our ice creams let's make a base so put them all to the side i'm just gonna start with a scoop of each i wish i had um gonna go with vanilla oh it looks really easy i wish i had like um a proper ice cream scoop but i did not think of that so we'll just have to make them as much scoop shape as i can I might put a bit more of that one in this one is a bit more frozen than the other two, Ooh, even though I have had it out long. You can see there's a chocolate chip there. Try to get a piece of walnut. 
you can see there some more walnuts so I'll put that just along there so I can have a bit of that walnut too and then finally oh this looks like it's gonna be soft <gasps> that looks so good wow okay I'm thinking chocolate will be my favorite anyway you know I'm like so got them there might um I want to keep them like not mixed together right now so they look pretty good I might top them up a bit just to make it suit me more because I really love chocolate <laughs> so that already looks good so I'm eating a few at the moment as well um you know when you have a low blood sugar you gotta help yourself so <laughs> mm. I can just say this is amazing and it tastes exactly like chocolate like you would not think that it's plant-based at all okay so obviously here is our sunday base so far and i have to work a bit quick because i obviously don't want it to melt what do you think goes on a sunday next i think that we should have some biscuit pieces and yeah you can get biscuit pieces that are gluten-free and vegan so gluten-free ones from asda there and also the vegan symbol there um, if you remember my Oreos video, um, I tried actual Oreos and I tried a different su supermarket brand, but they weren't vegan either. So these are a vegan option. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down in the bio of me trying like actual gluten-free Oreos. But here are what these vegan ones look like and they actually look pretty. I don't know whether to just, oh, I'm debating whether I should just stick one in now. I think I actually should. I think I should, I was going to crumble it up, but now I'm thinking, what if I had it like that? Oh, that's already looking good so far. I'll just stick it in a bit more. I'll just show you a close-up there of what it's looking like so far, but it looks pretty good. That looks really good. I might come back and crumble a bit more of these in. But um, I think you're gonna go wild for what I have next. Because I went insane when I saw these. Where have you ever seen these? I haven't opened them. I've had them for so long and I've had, to had so much self-restraint. Gluten-free wafer rolls and they're vegan as well. So I have had to wait so long because i've had these for so long but i needed to find the right ice cream and stuff like that etc so i haven't seen what these are like i hope they're intact because it's been a while it's two packets anyway and i'm really excited i'm actually really want to actually get one of these after and suck up some milk in it oh my god wow when have you ever seen a wafer like that that's gluten free and vegan too so Obviously, we have to stick these in carefully. I think I'll put two in because I've waited so long. And put them both there together. Woo Can we just see how that's looking so far? Like, it's looking pretty good, I have to say. My little Oreo's slipping a bit, but that's okay. He can balance there. How good is that looking? <laughs> Real? Obviously, you can't have an ice cream sundae without having some sauce some chocolate sauce I've got this skinny syrup chocolate gluten-free and vegan just gonna go put it all over there um i think it's a bit it's kind of a bit more watery than um like syrupy so i'm trying not to squeeze it too much <gasps> whoa that looks good try to get a bit over here and put it on if I could drip it down that, I'd be really happy. Wow, that looks really good. And of course, I want to have, finish it up with the appropriate way to eat it. I found this little spoon. I'm going to put it in there. And it'll just be a little shovel that you can eat your ice cream with. So, wow, look at that. I'm going to show you guys from the side now. Okay, I've just brought it outside to show you in the real light and how good it looks outside in the summers. Doesn't that look so good? Where have you seen an ice cream like this? Like, come on. Wow. But that's syrup. And the shovel just makes it so cute. I think we should go inside and try it. So here's just some more footage of it when it's um, standing on its own still. I think it looks so good. And please, how have I not just eaten this yet? I'm having a low blood sugar as well. So if you like what I'm doing in my videos, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Do you know how hard the temptation has been to just forget filming and just eat this when my blood sugar is dropping? So thanks so much to everyone who's subscribed. And please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, I just want to show people that gluten-free and vegan food can be really fun. 
So here is my sundae and I think we should go and eat it. Wow, just before I jump into the frame, that looks so cool on its own. Because I've been filming this for a while, maybe my sugar's gone up a bit. That'll dictate, uh, that will dictate how much insulin I need. So, yeah, it's still 3.3. So I am still low, so... Thank God I just didn't cave and just eat these. Where do I start? What would you start with? Comment down below. I love my little shovel as well. But I think the thing that I want to try the most is this this thing because it just looks amazing and when do you have a gluten-free vegan wafer oh wow mm, that's so good so good to just dip the ice cream in i'm really i'm gonna try it with milk and try to suck it up through it after see if that works but i've just dipped a bit in that chocolate syrup so good my body needs the sugar so bad right now Okay, next, I think I'll just try some of the ice creams with the syrup. So I'll go with chocolate. I would taste it on its own right there and taste unreal. So good. That chocolate one. I'm telling you now, it's so creamy. You wouldn't think it was vegan or plant-based. I'm going to go with vanilla because I'm not too sure about this one. <laughs> I obviously love chocolate way more than vanilla. Mm. That's really nice. That's actually really good as well. It's really creamy. Both of these two Morrison's ones are so creamy. Also, I love my little shovel. I don't know how they've made them taste so good when they're vegan. Actually, surprised me because I try to eat a lot more vegan, like plant-based food. And I just saw the ice cream and I thought because it's gluten-free and vegan, I can make a whole thing and just show how you can make a really good dessert that's gluten-free and vegan. And not too expensive because like those ice creams are like 80 cent. And let's try this banana one. The thing about the banana one is these two have gone really soft and the banana one, you can, don't know if you can hear that. It's still a bit frozen. So I don't know why that one's different to the other two because they're all in the freezer together, but um, we go with the banana. Mm, it's good. I think I would need to let that one melt a bit more for some reason. But it's really nice. I love this combination of like chocolate, banana, vanilla. But I think the chocolate is my favorite. And the sauce. This sauce is a zero calorie um, chocolate sauce from Skinny Syrup. And it's sugar free as well, which is really great for diabetics. And um, like me, it's gonna help with the sugar. So lastly, <laughs> this Oreo. Let's see if it compares to um, the gl actual gluten-free Oreo that I tried. Mm. It's very nice. Mm. I do like it. But um, it doesn't have that Oreo taste. Like the way the Oreos did in my video. I'll link down below again if you want to see it. Um, I think, yeah, if I crushed a few bits of this up, it would be really nice on top as well. Kind of like go with the smoothness of the ice cream. But I'm like, how good is that? Just to write, so I'll leave that on there. Just to get a piece of the Oreo, scoop a bit of ice cream with syrup. Really good. Oh my God. That's my gluten-free vegan ultimate um, summer sundae. Mm. Actually, when you mix all the pieces together, like the chocolate ice cream and the vanilla and banana and um, like the Oreo and the bits of that crunchy thing. It's really good. So. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you guys when I was bringing all the stuff into here to fill. This is a little cute summery bag that I got. So it has like them in there, have that in there, a wrapper in there. And then I'll put these guys back in there. I just thought that was really cute for summer as well. So. If you wanted to make your ice cream, you could get something like that to put all the toppings in. And that's actually a freezer bag as well, so you could put the ice cream in there too. But yeah, thanks so much for watching my video and I hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't and please like and comment down below. And I hope it will inspire you guys to make your own ultimate gluten-free vegan sundaes. So I'm going to go and eat this now and really enjoy it. And enjoy the rest of my day off work. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and I just realized that for anyone that wants to see the carb count, I'm about to do it now because I'm going to take my insulin 
now because I feel a bit better since my low blood sugar. So I will quickly show the carb counts for anyone that's type one and wants to know. So one of these um, cookies and cream biscuits is 11. So we're on 11, all right, my glasses, got the insulin is getting ready. Um, all right, so we have one biscuit is 11. We do not need to worry about the syrup. As it says there, 10 mils is no carbs. So we've got them two done. Proportion, which is 12, yeah, so one each is five. So I've had 10, so so far I'm on 21. This one, this banana you one, it says the carbs for 100 grams is 23. Mm -hmm. um, and there's 400 grams. So I think I only had about a spoon. So I'd say I had mm -hmm. about, I'd say I had about 50 grams. So we're gonna say 10 for that, so we're on 30. And then here, the carbs in the chocolate are 14 per third. Oh, I didn't have a third of a tub, like I only had like a spoon. So I'm gonna say, hmm, they're saying 14 for a third. I'm gonna say five for that. So again, five, 11, so around 16, and 10, 26, and 10, 36. And then this one, is this gonna be the same? Yeah, per third of a tub. Carbs a bit more in the vanilla, 17 for a third. So I'm gonna say five again because I don't think I've had that much really. So five, 10, oh, five, 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm gonna take four units of insulin for all of that. And I think that should be fine. I'm also coming out with low blood sugar. So I think four is probably on the lower end and it's the right amount for me. So yeah, that's the carbs. Thanks for watching. So I'm gonna dial this up to four units and inject it.